It's Jacques, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> Ow! What the heck is DeSinge doing up there anyway? Ooh. Sizzly! You know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three points. to get some of this incredible bacon grease. There. Now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon. There. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood! <coughs> what can I do for you? I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honorable Wallace P. Grindstump presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Threepwood! I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Now oh, remember, darling, you're still under oath. I. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this leg lamp into evidence as proof that Bosun Catherine Krebs is lying about her so called nacho sauce burn. <gasps> This proves nothing! Objection, Your Honor. The scars on this leg-shaped lamp may look like my clients, but who knows how they got there? I'm glad you asked. So you see, Your Honor, Catherine's distinctive burns were not caused by Club 41's nacho sauce, but by an unlikely combination of scalding fluids found throughout Flotsam Island. Isn't that true, Bosun Krebs? Answer the question, <laughs> you she-devil! It's true. After Guybrush knocked that platter of nachos onto my lap, I saw my chance for revenge and concocted this foolish scheme. Revenge? You still don't remember me? The woman whose ship you sunk? Who spent years languishing in prison for your crimes? The woman whose husband you humiliated in that creepy karaoke contest? Nope. Sorry. Drawing a blank. Arr! Your Honor, I move that Bosun Catherine Krebs's charge be dropped. Counselor! I got nothing, Your Honor. Very well! In the matter of Krebs versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam Island finds in favor of the defendant Guy Brush Threepwood! Get it off, you lot! Hey, Stan. Ah, no fraternizing between the defense and prosecution while court is in session! If you want a gab, call for a recess. The 
Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. Hey, guard, what do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Again? I'm not getting any smarter. Stan? Kybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you out and about, kid. Hope they haven't been treating you too badly in the Hooskow. Well, there is a pretty scary looking rat in my cell. At least I hope it's a rat. Well, that's just swell, kid. Look, could you get out of the way and make room for some paying customers? What are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be prepping for trial? Hey, no offense, kid, but the day old Stan can't beat you in open court with one wildly flapping arm tied behind his back is the day I haul my corpus juris back to Jambalaya Island for the full restitutio and integrum. Know what I mean? Not really. Exactly. So if you're not preparing for trial, what are you doing out here? Following Stan's rule number one, ABM. ABM? Always be merchandising. People love following the trials of famous pirates, even B-list pirates like yourself. B-list? That's why old Stan got all the souvenirs and timeless keepsakes you'll ever need to remind you of this month's Trial of the Century! How are sales going? Great. Celebrity merchandise is always a good investment, especially if you suspect that the celebrity in question is about to become a wind chime in the gallows. Nothing sells like dead celebrities. Yeah? Well, I don't plan on dying today. And I didn't plan to wear the same jacket for 20 years, but here we are. Stan, about these charges... Sorry, kid, can't talk. Conflict of interest, attorney, pirate privilege, and all that stuff. But la 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 la, not talking to you about it. I know I'll kick myself for asking, but what sorts of trial souvenirs are you selling? The question you should be asking is what kind of souvenirs am I not selling? Behold, the People vs. Threepwood Collection! Hey, a little me! That's right, Threepwood, a faithful reproduction right down to the lacy garter belt. Hey, I only wore those once. It is I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Sounds nothing like me. Yeah, I know. To be honest, your real voice didn't focus test all that well. What's that? That, my piratey friend, is a little novelty I like to call Draw the Beard on the Guy Brush. Using the power of magnetism and iron shavings, you can give Flotsam's most notorious criminal an infinite array of amusing and degrading hairstyles. Observe. What the? This one doesn't have a magnet. And look, it's leaking iron shavings. This is what you get when you use shoddy Fat Island labor. Is that supposed to be you? None other. Now you and your friends can relive the trial of the century while lounging around in this comfortable polyblend t-shirt, emblazoned with the iconic image of yours truly, a crusading attorney bringing his no-holds-barred brand of justice to Flotsam Island. Mm, on second thought, say no more. No matter how many times I see it, I can't get over your jacket. You like it? I just had it in for its annual re-stitching and de-resing. I noticed that you're remarkably free of the pox. Nothing remarkable about it at all, Threepwood. Haven't you been paying attention? The pox only affects real, 100% honest to Blackbeard pirates. Now, I've been many things in this life. A salesman, real estate agent, a troubadour, stevedore, a ralphador, and even a brief but memorable stint as an exotic dancer to pay my way through law school. But one thing I'm not, and never will be, is a pirate. Ah. I'll see you in court, Stan. Hey, that's pretty funny.
Let's see if this will work. Aha! Come on, let's get you out of here. That looks unappetizing. Stay away from Miss Pretty Whiskers' food, you fiend. Your cat eats that? Well, I thought she was paralyzed. She is! <laughs> I have to feed it to her through a straw! Ooh. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. Hemlock? Really? Aye, no one knows more about our legendary beastie than old Hemlock. There, Twinkle Toes. Enjoy your last moments of freedom, cause you're going to pay for what you did to Miss Pretty Whiskers. I'd be happy to pay. Do you accept traveler's checks? I hear you may know something about Flotsam's so-called jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but tis the scariest, false, melanous thing you ever didn't see. A dark jungle god that walks the land only by dead of night. Dark jungle god? Aye. T'was said to live within the stomach of the god of death, feasting upon corpses. Until one day, death ate some bad shellfish and upchucked the jungle beast into existence. Ooh. But if you haven't seen it, how do you know it exists? Because it eats. To appease the beast, we've left many a fleshy sacrifice on the jungle altar. By morning, the meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Disappearing meat. Yep, jungle god's the only explanation. See ya. Hey, look! A five-headed bonobo! What? I didn't see nothing! <laughs> Sorry. It must have been a weather balloon. your eye. I tell you what happened to my eye, smarty guy. When I dug up that phony dark ninja Dave you planted. Allegedly planted? Allegedly planted. I got a speck of dirt lodged in my eye. A week later it got infected and Dr. Descent had to cut it out. Yeah, just Betty did. Now I need a glass eye. Why do you want a glass eye? An eye patch is much more piratey. Eye patches are so last month. All the cool pirates are getting scary glass eyes these days. 
Hooks are still cool, right? I guess, but you really can't beat a glass eye. What are you in for? I got arrested for trying to auction a counterfeit Dark Ninja Day figurine at Yibe. Yibe? You know, that day with the auction thing. Oh yeah. Luckily for me, Stan got me a reduced sentence in exchange for my testimony against you. Me? What did I do? You were the one that made the counterfeit Dave in the first place! Oh yeah, that. You know, I can't help but notice that you don't seem to be afflicted by the pox of the Chuck. Oh, don't remind me. All the other pirates have gotten the pox, so why not me? You thought about the possibility that you might not actually be a pirate? I am too a pirate! Okay, okay, you are a pirate. I'm sure the pox will be coming for you any day now. Associating with hardened criminals like you can't be good for my legal situation. I'm out of here. Adios. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. What do you want? <coughs> Tell me you're still blowing glass. Surely a dry cleaning business would be more profitable. Ha! <laughs> it just shows what you know, Binky. People are clamoring for Crip Digit's unbreakable tubes. Clamoring! What people? Well, just one person, really. And he ordered a huge supply. Don't ask me why. Why? I told you not to ask me that! <laughs> why did someone order all those tubes? I told you not to ask me that! I see you can make a glass leg, but tell me, can you make a glass eye? Aye. But not just any glass eyes. Genuine imitation eyes made from the crystal wreaths themselves. Genuine imitation eyes? That's right. They'll imitate the eye color of anyone they see. You just point them at someone's eyes, give them a few seconds to set, and shazam! All new eye color. When you got a color you like, just pop it in your eye socket, and it'll stay that way forever. I'm intrigued and cautiously optimistic. How much? Here, try out this defective one for free. Defective? Aye, it's a little nearsight. So you'll have to get up real close to the subject to capture their eye color. Thanks. I take back all the nasty things I wrote in my diary about you. How does it feel to be hideously diseased? How do you think it feels? <laughs> mm, bad, I'd say. Pretty bad. You got that right, Missy! Are you not outraged by this ridiculous trial? Well, I'm just glad that scum sucking Threepwood will finally be brought to justice. Uh, I'm Threepwood. Speaking of which, shouldn't you be in a holding cell or something? We, uh, get a ten minute break every hour. It's the law. I'll see you in your, um, pectorals later. Yeah, well, the three of us will be waiting. Who go? Oh, it's you. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty, then. Let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honourable Wallace P. Grindstomp presiding. Time is grog, Captain! I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee! What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody black. Peach fuzz! Just let me at him! Let me at him! Ensign McGee, it's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him! Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed manatee, and he did! And how is your cat today? See for yourself! The poor dear is paralyzed with fear! I have to feed her through a chew! Oh, my poor Miss Pretty Whiskers! Oh, my poor little Pretty Whiskers! Pretty Whiskers? 
your witness, kid. Your Honor, pirates and assorted buccaneers, Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant, one who's in this very courtroom as I speak. J'accuse! Jacques the monkey! What? Objection, there's no evidence of monkey play here. No? Let's ask the victim. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers! See? Miss Pretty Whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together! Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam finds in favor of the defendant, Guy Brush Threepwood! Come on, Judge, get him with the pox! Don't you make me send the bailiff up there! Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! I'm right here. Oh, right. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? Ooh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? You just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> oh, I do. <coughs> Captain Sheepgood. Reapwood. Ah, yes. Shreveport. Reapwood. Greensleeves. Reapwood. Treebeard? The Reap. Sleepwood. Stack. Objection. Defense is stalling. The defense will get on with it! Or the court will order his name legally changed to Captain Guts for Daughters! <laughs> Crazy pose. Gotcha. Right. Where were we? Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. Hey, guard! What do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Again? Not getting any smarter. <laughs> 